Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this problem D, extreme subtraction from the code for this round 681 D2. The problem is that we are given an array of n positive integers and then what we can do in this array is this, we can do either of the following operations as many times as we want. Uh, so in one of the operations we can either decrease the prefix of length k by 1, like it means like we can decrease the each element of the prefix uh, of length k by 1 or we can decrease the suffix of length uh, k by 1 that is uh, we can decrease the element in the that suffix of length k each element by 1 and then what we want to do using this kind of operations is this we want to reduce our initial array to a zero array in which all the elements are, are zero and then what we have to do in this uh, problem is this we have to check whether it is possible to make the elements of uh, to make the array to a zero array or a not possible so we are given around 30000 elements and we are given an array uh, of a1 a2 an up which in which ai ranges from 1 to 10 to the power 6 right so let us try to understand this problem on the whiteboard so let us take, assume that this is our initial array, a1, a2, a-1, ai, a plus 1, an. And we can also mark some other elements, last, second last element as well, an-1. So what we need to understand in this problem is this. Uh, either we perform the first operation in which we will we will uh, reduce each, each element of the prefix of length k by 1. Or uh, we perform the second operation in which we uh, reduce the each element of a suffix of length k by 1 in either of the operation either we will want to uh, reduce our value of the leftmost element by 1 or we have we will reduce the rightmost element value by 1 right so that is for sure in uh, in this um, operations that will surely happen so now what we can do uh, is this since we know that these two elements, uh, like the leftmost and rightmost element, will gonna decrease by one in either of the operation. So what we gonna do is this: we can traverse the array from right to left or left to right, right. And then as we traverse the array, we will gonna make the elements the consecutive elements to be equal elements. So that after making all the elements to be equal elements, we can apply the uh, the number of operations equal to the magnitude of the element, uh, any element and then we will reduce each element to zero and if it's not possible if we don't have the sufficient values of a1 which is the leftmost element and the rightmost element to make all the elements to be equal elements then we will simply out no right so that is the idea of the approach is this we will move from right to left right and as we move from right to left we will want to make the next element like for example if we are at uh, some element like for example we are at element ai and then if uh, uh, this is our current element and up to ai all the values of the ai plus 1 up to an are equal to ai so all these values of ai plus 1 uh, to a, uh, ai all these values are equal to ai right so then now our ai uh, minus 1 can be either of the following it can be either less than the value of ai for less than i mark i denote ai minus 1 to be a level down than the ai in this case uh, it's easy to make ai equal to ai minus 1 by just uh, reducing the value of ai to be ai minus 1 and uh, by by applying the operation uh, to this length to, to suffix and uh, to this suffix of length n minus uh, i uh, I am n minus i minus 1 and because we have uh, here up to a minus 1 from a1 so like we have total n minus yeah we will have n minus i minus 1 elements so on this n minus n minus i minus 1 element we will want to apply uh, the operation suffix operation of reducing each element by 1 until we will reach the value of all these elements to be equal to ai minus 1 so then the level from ai to a uh, like we will uh, reach the level from ai to a minus 1 by doing the this operation on a suffix of length n minus i minus 1 up to uh, we can reduce the value of ai to a minus 1 and all these values as well to a minus 1 otherwise otherwise what will happen is this ai will not be greater than a minus 1 
whereas AI will be less than AI minus 1. In this case, when AI will be less than AI minus 1, then we cannot make AI minus 1 equal to AI by applying the operation on a suffix of length k. Instead, we have to apply the operation on the prefix of length i minus 1 uh, of length uh, i minus 1 up to the point when all these um, values reaches ai and for that we have to reduce the value of the leftmost element uh, uh, like the leftmost element value will get reduced up to a minus 1 will and all the value in the prefix will reach which is ai right so these two uh, these two operations will happen so, so what we can do in simple is simply this: we can just uh, put a minus uh, if a minus one is greater than a, then uh, then what we're going to do is this: we will going to just uh, say that the excess of a minus one and a will we will add that excess, and in the very end we will going to just see that whether we have sufficient excess that is that is whether the excess amount is greater than a1 the leftmost element or not and because like if you move from the like we will make a minus 1 equal to a and we will have a variable which is excess uh, in which we can store on the additional difference of a minus 1 and a and now as we move further like there is a minus 2 as well right so now there is two cases a minus 2 can be less than a minus 1 or a minus 2 can be greater than a minus 1 we need to understand this the absolute difference between a minus 1 and a minus 2 will remain the same even when we apply the operation the prefix of length i minus 1 because we are applying the operation we are applying the operation on the prefix of length i minus 1 so the consecutive elements difference will not change so it means that uh, the process of um, that the process that we are doing from right to left in which we are calculating the difference from the right from the current element to the next element will not be affected by doing this kind of operation and storing the additional um, additional difference in the excess variable so yeah let us now try to understand this thing in the code i think you will uh, understand uh, much much better after seeing the code so the like we are inputting our array and we are storing the leftmost value in uh, a variable which is called left value in a0 now we'll move from right to left we can do one can do similarly from left to right as well the code will be written similarly then uh, so if we will reduce the value of the ai to a uh, from the previous element and if now ai has become negative it means that ai minus one is greater than ai in that case we will go to in, in our leftmost value which is the which is a0 we will gonna add ai and we will gonna keep on adding this negative uh, negative differences in the leftmost value uh, until we traverse the array uh, up to leftmost element we will not traverse the leftmost uh, element we will traverse up to the leftmost element like i greater than zero and then in the very end we will just check whether the first element which is the leftmost <coughs> value is greater than or equal to zero still if it is greater than or equal to zero it means that we have sufficient leftmost value which can make the whole array to a level array and then after that level array we, after obtaining the level array we can just simply reduce uh, all the uh, value to zero after applying the operation to the prefix of length n or the suffix of length n and applying the operation as many times as there is the magnitude of any single value of the whole level array and yeah that's it so in this uh, so now i'll terminate now